Well, <laughs> thank you to Karen and the guys at Be At One for their scrumptious concoctions all week. Those cocktails have looked utterly delicious. Oh, incredible. Now, you might find it hard to meet anyone that loves Norfolk more than us here at Mustard, but our next guest could certainly be in for the running. Or should I say, walking. Ha, <laughs> ha, that's right, David Atal spent two years travelling and walking across Malaysia and Brunei, but he finally couldn't stay away from his home county any longer, and he's back. And to show his true appreciation for Norfolk, David has decided to spend 19 days walking our county's perimeter in order to spread its unique culture, beauty and dialect. And before he begins his mission, David joins us now to share his love of Norfolk. Welcome back to the yeah. studio. Thank you. Welcome back from your amazing adventures. How's it all been? It's been a couple of years since we caught up with you. Have you yes. had an amazing time in Malaysia and Brunei? Fantastic. Borneo in particular was just fantastic. A real adventure with a lot of fun and a real journey. And very exotic and exciting and far away. And now you're back here. So talk to me about the decision to do your next walk really, really locally. Um, it's basically around that concept. The more time you spend away, the more you appreciate where you're from. And I love Norfolk. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's people, the scenes of it. So many good things about Norfolk. So we wanted to do something to highlight everything that Norfolk has to offer to everyone else and also do a little fundraiser for a Norwich-based charity Oh, talk well. to me about that charity. So who have yeah, you chosen? Yes, we've chosen Musical Keys. Uh, Musical Keys basically offer uh, music and arts activities for disabled and less able people right across Norfolk. Um, so it's real fun and interactive and inclusive way to help people along. Now, you, the way you choose to do things, walking, adventures if you like what is the advantage you found that some people go traveling and they might get the train here or do a quick fly, flight over here why walking what does that do for you? i know it's cheaper than all these other ways but more importantly like why do you like the walking element uh the walking slows you down which is a massive advantage when you're trying to connect to people and to areas so it gives us time to interact with people it gives us time to hear the story of each place that we go which is exactly what we want to do right here in norfolk now we want to hear the story of local people and we want to connect to people here all across Norfolk. And your route is absolutely beautiful. It's going to take you on some really lovely kind of scenic walks. But the main thing is, like you say, you want to connect with people because you're asking a little something from them, right? Yes. Other than donating to the charity, you've actually not got a plan of anywhere to sleep, have you, David? No. <laughs> or where we're going to eat. Or what? <laughs> so what are you hoping for? Um, just if possible, we would absolutely love anyone could help by putting us up for a night in a spare bedroom or even saying, come camp in our garden. I don't Just think we've ever had we can shelter. anyone on the show who's asking for a place to sleep. This is a first. <laughs> I love this. Many of you, many you, many you Beth, <laughs> yeah, asking for sandwiches upstairs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but are you, uh, do you have high hopes for this? Um, yeah, I'm optimistic, absolutely. I think Norfolk people are a lot kinder and more generous than some people might think. So I'm hopeful that people will come out and it doesn't have to be to give us a place to stay. It can be to give us a meal. It can just be to come say hi. Bag of crisps. Absolutely. Right. See, when you're tired and you've been walking, you know, someone comes along and says hi and a smile, that can be enough to pick you up. And um, we're really lucky we had a lady contact us who does yoga, who's doing a charity yoga class for us. So it doesn't have to be oh. a place to stay. It can be whatever, you know, people can offer. And you say yeah. we and us, so it's not just you. It's not, no, it's me and but there's one there's not friend. 100 people either. <laughs> no, no, it's two of us. Um, so it's, his name's Jordan, he's also Norwich based, um, but his first experience walking. So it's all oh. a new challenge for oh, him. Oh, okay, so you're kind of the leader. Are you going to take care of him? Do you feel like you've got to kind of, got to keep an eye on him? Yeah, it's kind of make or break, really. It's throw him <laughs> in the deep end. <laughs> so for people to get hold of you, what should they do? Um, online Nomadic Lion is the organisation. Nomadic Lion. Um, yeah, we're on across all social media. Um, we've also got a total giving page as a way for help people to, to donate directly to Musical Keys. Fantastic. Are you uh, excited about anywhere in particular? Is there a favourite place that you're really looking forward to getting to? Because I know you're doing the Broads, uh, mm. you're doing North. Yeah, North starting in yeah. St Andrew on the uh, 17th of October, we should say, and then you're off to Haysborough showing them, as you say, around the coast, and then Fetford back into Norwich. Yeah, um, to be honest, like, uh, I've spent so much time out and about in Norfolk and I love it so much. It's hard to pick one area, but if I could, I think it would be past Wells down to the Wash because it's the place where I've spent the least time. That's the only reason. Yeah. And I think there's some awesome villages and awesome real little Norfolk areas there that we're really excited about. There's a lot of expanse over there. There's a lot of space up there as well. So I take the dog up there sometimes. So. Do you? Yeah. yeah. It is beautiful. I think you're going to have a really lovely trip. Thank you so much for coming back yep. in uh, and telling us and all about it. Nomadic Lion. Yeah. 
good luck. Absolutely. Thank let you. us know how it all goes. Yes. I'm very excited for you. Uh, let, <laughs> let him stay. He's lovely. He He's is. really nice. Nice Thank guy. you, David. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Well, unfortunately, that's all we have in store for you tonight. Yes, Darren and Helen will be back with you on Monday evening as usual, but not in their usual surroundings. That's right, because as of next week, The Mustard Show will be debuting our brand new home, if all the kit works, up in the reception of Archer. So come on by.